MSI, gastric tumors, is a known entity, and there are several ways to differentiate or diagnose uh, a tumor being an MSI. So you look, you can look on the protein level, or you can look on the DNA level. And there, are, uh, all of these are CLIA certified and validated biomarkers. Uh, so within the protein level, you can look at mismatch repair proteins, and you look at four proteins, if similar to colon cancer, if any of them are deficient, uh, you will see absent. So present, unlike any you know, other test in this situation, is a bad thing. If it's present, that means your patient is not MSI and is not, um, wouldn't qualify for pembrolizumab. But absent of these uh, protein staining uh, shows that the tumor uh, is likely MSI. And again, in gastric cancer, it's a rare entity, but uh, in colon cancer, uterine cancer, this could be associated with ger germline Lynch syndrome. On the DNA level, you can look at this uh, by, through uh, PCR or, or so-called fragment analysis, which is also a very uh, direct and uh, quick test. Um, or, and this is where the field is moving, particularly through with the TCGA data, TCGA data, and this is my preference, would be to look at it in a multiplex fashion by next generation sequencing. In other words, you are looking at at that one time, you, and you're able to get MSI status uh, because of the mutational burden of the tumor. Uh, and in gastric cancer, usually it's not subtle. You see, you know, a, a mutation profile that's two pages long, you know, um, and or there's you know 30 plus mutations, and that usually uh, signifies MSI. And at the same time, you could get HER2 status known for these patients. Uh, again, all these uh, amplifications are picked up and sort of learn about the tumor as a whole on a more deeper level. So right now, the pembrolizumab approval in MSI tumors, regardless of organ of origin, is after chemotherapy stops working. So it's in the chemotherapy refractory setting. So theoretically, in the future, we should and would do trials to get pembrolizumab to earlier lines of therapy, but right now the indication is in later uh, lines of therapy. That being said, data from MSKCC, uh, from MRC, and others have shown that uh, MSI gastric cancer is actually chemotherapy refractory. In fact, the uh, adjuvant magic study analysis uh, recently published in JAMA Oncology showed patients in early localized tumors that got MSI tumors that got chemotherapy in perioperative setting did worse than having straight uh, going to surgery. And our data from MSKCC in metastatic setting, uh, which was recently published in Cancer Discovery, shows that MSI metastatic gastric cancer progresses on systemic chemotherapy within the first four months of treatment. And again, showing that these tumors are biologically distinct and that immunotherapy should be considered uh, in the earlier lines of therapy. So as part of the NCCN compendium and NCCN guidelines, routine testing for PDL1 and MMR or any form of MSI testing should be performed for metastatic gastric cancer. And really any CLIA certified uh, PDL1 lab would be sufficient as uh, uh, in a patient that have both PDL1 positivity in the tumor and the stroma. That's an important uh, dis a distinction that you need to communicate to your pathologists because uh, the majority of the uh, pathologists are used to taking these uh, tests and doing these tests for lung cancer and the PDL1 positive or melanoma, PDL1 positivity in these tumors and the cutoffs are quite distinct from for gastric cancer. So, for the purposes of PDL1 positivity in metastatic gastric cancer, one percent of positivity in the tumor or the stroma. Is sufficient to call it cause a tumor uh, to be a PDL1 positive. So a question that often comes up: Well, so you know, this patient went through multiple lines of therapy. They're still fit and very motivated to go on either a clinical trial or uh, you know the next generation of therapies. But unfortunately, after running eight immunohistochemistry tests and, and analyses over the last three years that the patient has been with you, you've exhausted tissue. What, did, what do you do now? And I can tell you that majority of the patients that I discussed this with would not have a problem with getting a second biopsy. And in a fit patient who is otherwise motivated to get more therapy and you think is fit for, to receive more therapy, 
a biopsy is absolutely very important to determine PDL1 and MSI status because these agents can be life-changing.